<sighs> what it is, world man? Back at it again, world's best host, yours truly, ET in the galaxy yeah, yeah. right now, man. By my side, by my side, by my side. <laughs> man. Okay. From they cannot do it to they shouldn't do that to why they doing this to now they got more cheese than craft. <laughs> and how do you say they name? Dang. Ray Sherman. Ray Shremer, Shremer. Oh, I what live in this. I boy? live in this, bro. I live in this world from the mansion days of session. I live in this world. For real, we go way back. We go way back. Hey, bro, can I can I really ask y'all a real question, bro? Which one of y'all, real uh, quick, wears a, a, a forty two? And do all y'all bitches really get Chanel? Oh uh, yeah, I wear European size forty two, size nine. Some, somebody, somebody said all these bitches get Chanel in the song. Oh yeah, they get, they get the shopping spree too. <laughs> if they do right, man, they just on their a game. She fine. You gotta, you gotta she reward. Fine, though, right? her, you know what I'm saying? She fine. She can't be a mud duck. You gotta and get reward. Chanel. What does the ugly girl get? Uh, like Taco Bell or something? The curve. Chipotle. She get grub. <laughs> the curve. The curve. I don't That's... know, but you know, I, got, I ain't got no type for real. So you know, yeah, what we show, say ugly female. We show love to all the girls. I'm talking about one that got one of them bad attitudes that make me just like shut down. Yeah, yeah, it could be yeah, that. That's ugly, ugly too. Yeah, yeah. that about. could be ugly too. Um, ladies and gentlemen, they are checking in in the building right now. Ray Sherman definitely checking in right now. I want to ask you guys, man, do you guys remember? When you were at your lowest point, before you got to where you're at now, hey. right? When when everyone was like shutting you and saying maybe y'all should go separate ways. Oh yeah. Um, do you remember what y'all had asked for at that time? What you looked up in the sky and said, "Please, I want this." Man, back when we was rocking the dingy clothes with twenty seven dollars in our pocket, man. You know what I'm saying? We were just asking for. It. Can we cuss on this thing? Yeah, go ahead. Like a like. Can we get a music video? Like that's what I just wanted a music, a music video, video, like a what? big music video. Back then, when people were saying, "Oh man, y'all gonna," say, I was asking people to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> right, but it's crazy because now you asked for that back then, but you've gotten so much more now. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Did yeah, you so, came so really everything that you got from that question? The reason why I asked that question is because you asked that question back then. You wanted a music video, bro. You had twenty-seven dollars. Yeah. You asked for a music video. You asked for everybody to shut the hell up. Yeah. Right, and then you got. All this extra stuff. So everything else has been like a surprise and a blessing then. Yeah, yeah. for real. Everything else extra. Like, Damn. Extra, you know what I'm saying? Talk about this project. Let me Shrimp ask you. Shrimp Life 3. Talk about this project though real quick. Because I, I, if three, I don't man. ask you about the project, Keenan going to beat me up. Yeah. Now nah, we got to talk about that Shrimp Life 3. That's, <laughs> that, that Shrimp Life 3, man, the hottest project out right now. It's like a triple disc from Ray Shrimmer. It's like, you get the Ray Shrimmer side. It's like basically like three chapters. You know what I'm saying? You got the Swaycation on one side. You yeah. got Jim on one side. Then you got our joint project, which is Ray Shrimmer. You know what I'm saying? Tro. I, the collective, you know you what I'm saying? The Jim Tro. Yeah, Jim Tro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, we just going crazy on the whole album. We got some crazy features. We got Future on that joint. We got Travis I like Scott. that one. Bucket, right? Bucket, yeah. Bucket. I love that one. right there, for real. I yeah. like that one. Then we got a giant. Thug, Mike was asking me about which one was next. I was like, I don't know, bro. You know I like the ratchet, homie. I like the bucket yeah, one. Yeah, that bucket. Yeah. And the one it's right hard. after the bucket. What's the name of the one after the bucket? I don't know. Probably Bedtime Stories. We got one with The weekend. you know what I'm saying? That we one's got dope, some, too. Some thug on that month. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We got it. It's just like for Kravitz. real. We got Zoe Kravitz. Slim then got Zoe Kravitz. We got uh, Riff three times. We got Trouble on the album. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Trouble. You know that's that level. That all day. Yeah, it's a crazy yeah. album. You know do you, what I'm do you, how do y'all categorize y'all selves now? I feel like they can't categorize y'all as hip hop because y'all are like artists. Y'all. Oh yeah. I hear so much on there. Yeah. I can't really say that you just do this and you just do that. Right. So it's when like I hear all, the music, I'm like, this is music. Yeah. It's Good like music. all star, all types of different. As a as a uh, African American. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a maestro. I'm a maestro. I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm, that's what I am. I'm a maestro. A lot of people mistaking you sometimes when they hear you sing, homie, like they think that's the weekend sometimes. Now they be thinking I'm uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, they be having nah, flashbacks bro. like, man, oh look, that's that's young Michael. You know, you know what's crazy about this for me, bro? It's just I, I just know because I know y'all history and I know enough of y'all yeah, history. You know, yeah, 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 you know what I mean? To see where y'all at now, it's like <laughs> ah ha ha. I feel <laughs> like real. ah ha ha. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. you know y'all be ah. Now you showing love back nah, in the nah, back I, in the gap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like, to the baby boys, the, man. <laughs> the videos that y'all do are actually crazy. They're not. They're like real videos. Yeah, I don't ever really see y'all with like the boo boo videos. Oh no, we can't. <laughs> do y'all really, do y'all be a part of that video process? Yeah, we, we be do. in our directing shit. You know, what we saying? do, and we don't have like a super whole bunch of amount of videos. You know what I'm saying? Cause we really like quality over quantity. We're trying to put out like the best things, what we think the people want the most. You know what I'm saying? Or what we think we got, the people need the most. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we be, we feed the culture, we drive the culture, all that. We got a lot, we got a lot of content coming up soon too. We got Guatemala coming up soon. Just a whole bunch of songs off the album. Yeah, we yeah. finna just start shooting like About shoot really that. crazy like movie like. Storyline like about crazy video. It's like level. All our <laughs> visuals finna level up. Like. A new Marvel uh, 
installation. You right. know what I'm saying? Shrimp life. It's, yeah. gonna, it's definitely happened for you guys. Can you guys tell me your craziest hotel? Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, Man. that's self-explanatory. Yeah. The craziest hotel that... Oh, no. Craziest hotel story. So, Matt, oh, something, that, give you the something that a hoe done did, a hoe story. Oh, man. At a hotel. Go ahead. I want to hear it. No, we can't kiss and tell. No, nah, I didn't say tell no names. <laughs> I didn't say tell their Jim, names. I said tell a story. Jim be having a rock star moment. <laughs> <laughs> As a it, just be, it just be shrimp life, man, going on. You know what I'm saying? No type stuff going on. Y'all not gonna say uh, B- meet and greet relationships. Meet and greets with the Black Beatles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how y'all want to leave it, man. That's cool, man. I, I, I've asked many artists, as you know, Outkast had a crazy one, and you know, I mean, not Outkast, a big boy. I gotta boy. really just big think, boy. man. I gotta think about some shit. It's a crazy shit, we have man, bro. Like, big boy had a crazy one. Big boy said that, it, well, that he was they was partying at a hotel room, and that uh, everyone was you know lit, and they was all in there, and they had like you know, you know, they had some of their jewelry. You know, in different you know, parts of the room, yeah. and then they was looking for like a ring that was like worth like twenty bands or some shit, right? Mm-hmm. And no one could find it. And the security guard like, you know, checked this bitch at the door, and it came out of her love box. Oh, she had the man. ring snack, you know what I'm saying? Wow! It came out of her love box. She had on an so. apartment. Yeah, dog. So <laughs> damn. that's a pretty damn crazy story, right there. <laughs> yeah, that's real crazy, right nah, there. That's not. That's not nice. No, don't steal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't got no stories like that, bro. Like. You know, I got to put out my dreams. My up. crazy stories is really crazy. Yeah, I believe it. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? I'm, t- I'm telling them right now. You're not going to say <laughs> nothing. That's cool. I got you, homie. This since, girl. Since, 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 since the project is, uh, uh, since your first project till now. That girl's a real crowd pleaser. <laughs> God. Skeezer. What has been y'all craziest, <laughs> what's been like the craziest growth and in, in where in your music? Man, our craziest growth. Which is obvious, like it's it's showing up because our first, like our last album, it sold thirty thousand the first week. This joint doubled up, it sold about sixty, seventy thousand this week. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's growth. But I say like, just the crowds we perform for, you know what I'm saying? They went from like a thousand, two thousand to now you might be performing for like eighty thousand people right. or some shit. So it's like, I guess like you ever had like a weird crowds. fan experience? Like you didn't expect someone to be a fan of yours? Like damn, you like you know my music? I can't believe you, you know my music. Like, Jeezy said he had it happen to him. He said like he was performing one time and like a sixty-five year old lady was like near the front row oh, singing yeah. his lyrics. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like he didn't on. expect that to be a fan. Like you Those ever had a fan experience? Being the crowd. Yeah, you ever had a fan experience crazy. like that? No, you didn't expect them to be a fan of your music. Man, bro, crazy. I was, I was, I was trying to answer whatever question you had just asked. I forgot the hotel. What it was, though. You trying to think of a crazy story? Nah, whatever he asked right for this one right here. <laughs> the growth. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, the growth. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a lot of growth, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm, marijuana nah, but growth. For real, but for real. Yeah, uh, marijuana growth. For real, though, the gym trope, this is the first time I recorded an album sober. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the way sober. I just smoke weed. That's it. Shrimp like. Yeah, that's sober. Uh, you got. <laughs> yeah, that, that is sober, though. On everything, like today. In his right mind. Today is day, sober. Day, day, that's sober, right? Yo, there. that's real. Today, like, yo, I was just weed. Like, it yeah. is sober. All today, I'm doing all is smoking weed. Sober like, living. My shit, my shit smell like weed. That's all you're going to see. Yeah. That's good, though, bro. So, turn your uh, life around. It's going down, man. I know the family's pretty much happy about you guys, too, man. <laughs> we making monies, man. We taking care of our fans, man. Shrimp Life. Hey, man, we got this scholarship coming, too. The man. lifestyle. Talk about that you one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm giving $50,000 away. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be in the form, in the, uh, in the form of a scholarship. So, like, if you leave in high school, you go into college. If and you got a good you head on your shoulders. You're having problems paying for college. I want to help you. You know what I'm saying? If you went to college, you're trying to go to grad school, or maybe you're trying to uh, pay back on your student loans. You know what I'm saying? I'm there, I'm there for that. And I'm going to pick one person, like, all the way from overseas, like Africa or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to support their dream, too, and I'm going to help them go to college, too. But it's going to be five people. That's a good guy. 50 bands, 10 bands apiece. Is this a college scholarship you're doing on your own, or is it something you guys doing together? It's really something. It's- What's up? You trying? To I want to take credit for it, but it's Slim Jimmy. Yeah, I, I ain't know you want to throw in. Nah, I ain't got no problem hey, with that. Hey, we can say Sway Lee. Yeah, nah, <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, it's, it's something Jimmy uh, want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna do something else. I, do, cause, I know, gotta I definitely out, do something I to get back. Out of school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I, but I wanted to go to school. Yeah, he was serious about doing that. But I couldn't afford to go to school. You know what I'm saying? So, in as a way to like make up for that, I feel like this is something I could do for somebody else that wants to go to school and can't go to school, but they more like intelligent enough. Like I wasn't gonna pass no classes. Like I was there for all the wrong reasons. Just to party, whatever, for uh, whatever party. the reasons were. The lifestyle. Just turn up. <laughs> yeah. The oh, lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lifestyle. I was just turning up. You guys have had so many crazy experiences going on, man, with your music and, and stuff like that. Uh, a collaboration that we that we don't know about that might be people like, damn, you collab with them? Someone behind the scenes, like, like maybe you did a song with somebody. like, damn, I didn't know, you know, they would want to do a song with y'all. 
Oh, man, we got Y'all are really out there working, bro. It's crazy, huh? <laughs> now I can tell by him thinking. He's like, damn, I got to think about that. <laughs> oh, God. There's a lot of artists out there. I understand, homie. Shit, and we got a song with goddamn Adele. You got a song with Adele? In the future. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm speaking this shit up now. Oh, okay. Well, speaking into existence. They, I thought y'all might have pre-recorded that song and it's just sitting there. I can't wait to hear that shit. It's sure gonna cure depression. It's gonna cure depression and, and just like all the bad vibes. I mean, it's like that. That. Um. It's any last words word. y'all want to tell y'all people out there, bro? Because I don't go get... buy Shrimp Life Three right now when this interview. Buy it go two off, times. Go buy it because we like we ending all like negativity. This is straight good vibes. You know, Shrimp Life. We and got we, our yeah. own lane. And we come in here, so y'all gotta learn all the words for when we come on. Tour. In the lane, man. When we, we come on tour, on. when we come to Atlanta, y'all got to know all the words. Are y'all staying in Atlanta now? Or no? Man, I got to, I got to, yeah, I live out here. Okay. Coast to coast. I okay, you got to stay in LA, yeah. Man, I love Atlanta, bro. Yeah. It's lit I love here. Atlanta too, bro. I'm man, from so Cali, I, homie, so I did, I grew up out there, so I already had that fun. Yeah, I love Atlanta did, too. Did. You know, you guys keep a lock right here, man, with your boy uh, ET, man. Let's go. Let's go.